What's up everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. I'm doing love twists, readings for all the signs. And um, by request, I'm doing Pisces. So there might be some truth revealed about something or there's a potential to be really happy. What are the Romance Angel Oracle cards? Okay. The sign of Pisces. From now until the end of April. Blue. So the bottom is this could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you see. Ooh, Jeebus. And children, your love life is being affected by children. Now, I just recorded you guys' entire um, reading. Why is my nose itching? Ugh. You guys are... <laughs> You guys are messing with me. And I don't know what happened to it. There's something with the storage on my phone or just Mercury retrograde in general. Can you kiss it? Anyways, I hope that you guys are having a good day. And, um, good lord, <laughs> the cards will stop flying at my face, we'll see. So I think that basically what I see is that you guys are separated from, Jesus, you guys are separated from somebody that you could have a reconciliation with, but it's going to take, um, strength to get here because of whatever happened in the past or maybe just in general um, I think it's time to come up with a plan because the bottom is tragedy 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 whatever I can talk sometimes because you guys are on a journey that you're supposed to be on. So if you're separated right now, just know that you'll be um, back together. But pride might be an issue for this situation. Others of you just need to have a conversation about how you really feel about the person that you love because new love is here and heart-to-heart -heart conversations. Um, there is a caring connection, but along with that comes a lot of envy from other people. And um, it's whatever person you're thinking about when this comes to mind because it's the thinking woman, so there is someone definitely thinking about you. But I don't think that you've talked to them or that they know. Or maybe you don't know what kind of connection this is and yet. And that's why the healing card is to say what you mean. Because there's a lot of attraction here and um, divine timing is at work in your love life with the worth waiting for and attraction. There is definitely blossoming, blossoming abundance in this situation. Your fourth and second chakra, so Archangel Raphael and Ariel are trying to work with you. You might want to work on those. Um, you're also in a cycle with this person. And it's time to unleash your creativity to um, bring about the right things for your life. Lord have mercy. You have the Eight of Pentacles, so trying something new. Trying to go about things in a different way, maybe that you haven't done before. The Moon card is your card, but it's also about things haven't been fully revealed. So maybe if you're separated from somebody and you don't really know why, well, maybe it's your ego or your pride or just the fact that 
you're not willing to change the way that um, you think, or maybe it's this person. Honestly, I think it's both of you. But there is still a reconciliation in the works. It's about making the decision, maybe um, standing in this power of an emperor, or some of you could be reconciling with a Aries. But the emperor is all about... Um, making a strategic plan and executing it through a decision because there's a lot of passion here there's a new start could be with a fire sign or someone with fire in their charts but it's stressing you out stressing you guys both out because there's a lot of things not being said or maybe they need to be or they will be because this is destiny with the wheel of fortune here so I think that is something that you need to fight for with the Seven of Wands. And there's definitely a lot of attraction here and about knowing what it is that you want and going for it. Because you know what direction that you want to go, but you need to make a choice. And kind of pay attention to the stuff around you and just know that you do have the strength to um, get through it. But there are some things that you do need to get through. Um, and there is this feeling of loss and regret here possibly um, in this separation, but it's all about standing your ground with some other people in your life or maybe just in general kind of um, setting the right boundaries, um, speaking the right way with the Queen of Swords. Maybe there's an um, air sign in your life, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, that um, you might need to stand your ground with in your life. Um, Two of Wands, you're trying to, you guys are both waiting and trying to make a choice but you're both disconnected as well with your feelings because of whatever fights went on with the five of swords there is a new start here for some of you so you do need to say what you mean put your pride to the side and say what you mean Pisces trying to make a choice with the two of swords so maybe stop standing on this um tightrope and stop um hermiting or maybe you're dealing with the virgo and make a decision i think you've been thinking long enough don't you Because you know what you want, and I think you're ready to go for it. Or maybe there's a fire sign who wants to come in for you. Sheba's. Because for some of you, this is a soulmate or your twin. But there does need to be some justice here. Um, things need to be evened out. Some people need to go. Um, there might be justice with a um, earth sign person in your life. And I think that it's time to think about what you want to do and go for it because the King of Swords is very intentional. Because you're both waiting. I keep showing me these same cards. You're both waiting. And you both have some things that you need to say to each other. And this is destiny. This is good fortune. This is a turning point. This is progress. This, this is destiny. Okay. But it might require you standing up for yourself with other people, especially the ones that are, for some ungodly reason, um, envious. So you might need to defend yourself or this other person because there is a love offer that wants to come in. And it's moving away from all these negative ass people and, you know, balancing some shit out in your life. Maybe balance will come once you move on from all of this um, fighting. Because you guys know what you want and you do need to withdraw from something in your life. The things that stress you out, um, all this fighting, maybe something to do with your job or your home life. Um, you know what direction you want to go. It's whoever you're thinking about and whoever you're reminiscing about, thinking about the past. You're in two minds and I think that it's time to bring it back to one so you can make a choice instead of being in a hanged man or disconnected or hermiting um or there's a possibility that this is just going to end in heartbreak because if you don't say what you want then how is anybody supposed to know time to talk eight of wands 
Otherwise, someone's going to be left out on the cold for good. And you know that you want to offer love to somebody or someone wants to offer it to you. And there is victory from making the right choice from the universe. And it is faded with the Wheel of Fortune. And it is a stable ground to stand on. And you guys are a super love support for each other. And there is really a, like, a really happy situation or outcome that could come from this. Along with maybe some possessiveness over this person. Or maybe there is just a feeling of being um, bound to them. Or maybe there's some toxic shit going on. Some things that you guys need to get over. The strength card, okay? There's reciprocity. There is um, emotionally balanced person. But you're still waiting. In your head. Hopeful and waiting for this new start with this person that you know you're attracted to. It's time to let this pride shit go. Say what you mean and do it. Get off the tightrope, Pisces. Not everyone's going to wait around forever to, for you to make a choice. They're just going to move on. I'm just not I'm not trying to be an asshole, even though sometimes I am an asshole. But just remember, you're separated right now, but there's going to be a reconciliation. But you need to let your pride go. Because this is love. There needs to be a heart-to-heart -heart conversation because this is, this is worth waiting for. And there is a lot of attraction on both sides. Okay? Not only that, but there's a committed relationship with love. Okay. And this person might have some other options. And you might have to fight for a spot. To someone that there is a lot of attraction to. To someone that you um, know that you want. They do have other options. And they might have a, a new start with somebody else with the Three of Wands if you don't step up here pretty soon. I'm just saying. There is a lot of stress, but there's also a new passionate start and a renewal. But look where you're at. Still standing on this tightrope. And you're not doing anything. You're just um, taking no action. This could lead to breaking your own heart, okay? Okay. So it's time to move forward so that you can have this new um, relationship that's stable with somebody that you care about or really cares about you. Okay? That's all I have for you guys. Bye.